بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو انادر لیکچر آن ٹول اینڈ ڈائی ڈیزائن وی آر آن ماڈیول تھری دیٹ از ڈیزائن آف اسٹیمپنگ ڈائز اینڈ ان لیکچر تھری ڈیش تھری وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ڈیزائن آف شیٹ میٹل بینڈنگ ڈائز ایٹ دا اینڈ آف دس لیکچر یو شوڈ بی ایبل ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا پروسیس پیرامیٹرس اینڈ ٹرمینالوجی آف شیٹ میٹل بینڈنگ دیٹ انکلوڈس band axis, band radius, band angle, and neutral axis. Then you should be able to calculate the length of starting blank for bending, considering the band allowance. After uh, finding the starting length of the blank, you should be able to find the position of the band lines and the layout line. There is a concept of spring back, You should be able to understand that and how we can address the spring back. You should be able to calculate the bending force for both V-bending and edge bending. And you should be able to understand different types of bending operations and how to perform them. So just as a recall, we are discussing sheet metal working operations that are a type of metal forming or metal deformation operations. We have already discussed some basics of sheet metal working as well as shearing processes or cutting processes and design of dies for those processes. Now we are going to discuss the bending operations. So in this segment, we will discuss some basics of sheet metal bending. So as we discussed already that there are two general categories of sheet metal working operations. We have cutting operations. The first category is the cutting operations and then we have shaping and forming operations. And two most common among forming or shaping operations are bending and drawing. And we are going to discuss bending today. So sheet metal bending is defined as shaping the sheet metal along a straight axis. The outer fibers in the external radius are stretched because they are under tension and the fibers at the inner radius are under compression. And at some point within the material, the fibers are neither under, uh, under compression nor tension. So this plane of the material is called neutral bending line and neutral axis. And most of the calculations in sheet metal bending actually are based on this neutral bending line. So with the help of this simple figure, we will try to understand some uh, basic uh, terminology of a bent part. So initially we have a straight blank, something like this, and that blank is bent to some angle. So that starting sheet or blank is bent to some angle. So that angle, now this was the starting plane or starting position of the blank, and it is bent to some angle. So that angle through which it is bent is called the bend angle. So uh, let's call it alpha. So the sheet is bent in this direction to this angle alpha. So that alpha is the bent angle. And just the opposite, this angle is the included angle and that is the alpha dash. So remember that the bent angle is the angle uh, to which uh, the bending is taking place. So starting from this angle, say zero degree, the, uh, the sheet is being bent in this direction to an angle alpha, so angle is the bend angle, alpha dash is the uh, included angle. And then there is certain radius r that is made. And that radius, the inner radius, depends upon the radius of the punch. And there is another radius that is not indicated here, this radius, that is the outer radius. So remember that most of the calculations in sheet metal bending uh, relate to the inner radius, the radius that is made by the punch. Just like cutting the sheet metal thickness is an important process parameter, uh, 
uh, the the factor on which some of the calculations depend. Then this sheet would have certain width w as well. And this x is actually along which the bending is taking place is the bend axis. And outer fibers, fibers somewhere over here, as we mentioned on the previous slide, are under tension. And the inner fibers, where the inner radius is being made, somewhere over here, the fibers are under compression. And there is, a, there is an axis or a line where the forces are neither compressive nor tensile. So that is called neutral bending line or neutral axis. So these are some of the important factors in bending. And most, of, most important of these are the bend angle, the thickness of the starting blank, and the bend radius. So we will, of course, address these factors as we will move on in this, uh, uh, in this discussion on sheet metal bending. Another important factor that we will see is how much should be the length of the starting blank, because the starting blank will be a straight, flat a piece of sheet and it will be bent to an angle alpha and a radius r will be made. So what should be the uh, st uh, length of the starting blank so that once we bend the part, we, we get the required dimensions. So for that, we will have to convert actually uh, this radius to, to straight length. And that is called bend allowance. So we will also see in one of the following segments how we can calculate the bend allowance. So metal on inside of neutral plane is compressed. As you mentioned, while metal on the outside of the <clears throat> neutral plane is stretched. And this is the neutral axis. So bending should take place at right angle to the grain direction. As we know that uh, sheet metal is the product of rolling process. So direction in which rolling takes place, the grains are oriented in that direction. So the bending should take place perpendicular to the grain direction. If the bending operation takes place parallel to the grain direction, cracking may develop something like this. So if this is the grain direction, you could notice here, and if the bending takes place along this direction, then the uh, cracking, may, cracking may develop. So this is the starting sheet, and this is the bending force. And you could notice the neutral bend line and the direction of grains as well as the direction of force. So they are perpendicular to each other. So this is some of the very basic terminology that we will require as we move on in our discussion on sheet metal bending. In the next series of segments, we will discuss some important parameter with respect to uh, design and analysis of sheet metal bending operations. Thank you.